going on guys another real quick little update on the disc grinder build which at this point is essentially all but completed except for a couple of very minor details uh, i've actually got it usable and uh, functional right now uh, the only thing i really haven't completed at this point is a the uh, work rest uh, you know i've got the tool arm socket and the locking knob and all that ready to go uh, I just have not uh, put anything together uh, for a tool rest or a tool arm just yet. So that'll be something minor I don't really need right at the moment. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hold off on that. Probably uh, get to working and finishing up some other projects. Uh, you know, I've got a lot of neck knives on the bench I need to finish. And I'm actually hoping to use this as is uh, to kind of help me do that. So... Uh, get a little bit of practice in on the machine and uh, kind of start getting a feel for it uh, hopefully without messing up any of the knives uh, I've already worked quite a bit on but uh, I did get uh, one of the discs uh, pretty much done as far as I uh, put some eighth inch 70 duro rubber on it uh, which may actually even be just a little soft I think if I get any more rubber I'll probably go a little bit harder uh, this stuff sponges in quite a bit uh, a little bit more than I thought it would, so probably 80 or even 90 uh, would be a little bit better. Uh, although then again, maybe it won't. Maybe this will give me the finish I'm looking for. So uh, we may experiment with that a little bit. <clears throat> I'll get some more discs made and uh, see what I like. But uh, I did put a 320 grit piece of paper on here with some feathering adhesive and uh, pretty much worn it out already. Uh, there isn't probably too much grit left on this. Uh, I've been uh, just grinding all kinds of little things on it and uh, playing around with it and I uh, really like uh, the machine so far. Uh, there was one uh, mistake I did unfortunately make on it tonight here at the very end. Uh, really irritated me and I'm uh, really frustrated at myself. Uh, it's not particularly a deal breaker per se uh, as far as you know the function of the machine but it's probably just one of those things uh, that's going to grate on me a little bit and uh, that's when I was milling out these little pry pockets to stick a screwdriver tip in to help pry these off uh, when the magnets are uh, holding the discs in place uh, I positioned one right in the wrong spot and you could probably see what I'm talking about here uh, I took these in a little ways you know, just so I could stick the screwdriver in a little farther. You know, if I had stopped maybe at, you know, a half inch or so, it wouldn't have even been an issue. But put one right over one of these magnet pockets. And actually, see if I can balance this up a little. And uh, we'll take the disc off and show you. Which, uh, these little pockets do actually work really well. I may make like a little brass tool in there just to keep from marring up the aluminum too bad. But uh, see the disc pop right off. And uh, I do have the stronger magnets in there, although I still need to put the three inner ones in place. They're kind of wanting to work themselves out. But you can see here. Well, let me get a, something to take that magnet out. You know, you can see the magnet poking out there. If I focus a little better. So, yeah, right there. You know, it's still enough to hold the magnet in place. I don't think that'll necessarily be any kind of an issue. But my fear is that once I kind of glue these down, if I glue them down... Uh, there's going to be like dirt and grit getting in there and uh, it'll be a little bit harder to wipe off you know the face of the hub there so kind of a minor mistake I guess in the grand scheme of things but you know kind of a big one for me uh, really should have been paying better attention and uh, you know I was just so excited to get this done you know I thought about it but then again I didn't and you know that's what happened so this little frustrated venting there, I guess. But, uh, you know, on the bright side, 
you know the machine is usable now and uh, I think I'm gonna still have quite a bit of fun you know kind of learning how to use this thing uh, to my advantage in knife making and uh, you know other little things that I might use it for so I think that's pretty much it for the update again uh, next thing I'll probably do when I get some free time is make some tool rest for it uh, probably make a couple more discs maybe get some harder rubber backers try one without any backer and uh, you know kind of see uh, what I like what I don't like and uh, maybe get a little collection of uh, interchangeable discs going which is of course the whole point of having a magnetic hub uh, is to kind of have those options to you or available for you and uh, you know be able to use them accordingly so uh, that's it for today guys uh, if you would uh, go ahead and look at my other video on the shop tip uh, I think some of you especially with milling machines home shop setups uh, will find it useful if it's not something you knew about already and uh, that's going to be on uh, centering up some work on the mill and uh, it's not too long but uh, it is helpful so check that out and uh, I'm sure I'll have some other videos and little updates coming uh, down the road stay tuned for those thanks for watching guys